So we're here for Werribee TV at Avalon Airport Oval, the scene of a famous victory over the weekend, a one-point thriller against Essendon, and one of the stars of the show with a haul of five goals was Josh Porter, also known as Wangaratta's favourite son. Uh, Josh, the uh, the good folk at Oak FM and uh, the likes of the Wangaratta Chronicle, it seems that you sneeze and, and they want to know all about it. Uh, the phone must have been ringing off the hook after the weekend. No, I don't know about uh, Wangaratta's favourite son, but um, no, it was pretty quiet, had a nice uh, little getaway to Sydney, so... Um, yeah, it's pretty quiet, sort of. Okay. A couple of mates were getting into me about my interview, but nothing too major. It was an incredible game. One point, uh, goal for goal stuff, virtually right through the second half. Was it the best win that you've played in? Uh, yeah, it was certainly up there. Probably last year's grand final win was certainly probably the best one, but um, yeah, it was certainly up there. I can't remember playing in a game, sort of, goal for goal the whole time, so yeah. That's the Ovens and Murray grand final for Wang Magpies that you're obviously talking about there. A big jump coming back to the, the VFL after a year out, um, but it looks like you've really found your feet in the last few weeks. Yeah, definitely. Um, I sort of had an um, interrupted start, obviously coming back in mid-February and um, starting a bit late, later than all the other boys. So, um, and then obviously I had that um, injury after my first game. So yeah, it was a bit of a slow, slow process, um, but you know, the last couple of weeks so I've been hitting some better form. Big haul on the weekend though, five goals, it's career best for you, I understand. You must rate that up there as one of your best performances at a VFL level. Yeah, it was certainly up there, um, the most goals I've kicked in the game for a while, so yeah, I was pretty happy, um, but it was uh, better to get the win, and 23 blokes contributing, um, yeah, so it was a terrific win. A real team effort, as you say, but uh, there were a few notable performers, yourself obviously with five, but uh, Andrew Hooper at ground level with four, weaving a bit of wizardry, uh, he was pretty impressive as well. Yeah, Hoops was great. Um, yeah, he carried on a little bit after his goals, uh, which he loves, but uh, he was really good at um, getting those uh, for the balls and um, putting the pressure on, so he was, he was terrific. Also, Colo was um, great as usual, you know, it's, it's like clockwork for Colo this year, he's taken 15 grabs, so uh, yeah, he's had a great year. Yeah, that mark in the last line of defence in the in the dying moment of the game, um, pretty special moment there from Colo. We've talked about going back to back a number of times this year, and we haven't quite been able to do it. What do you need to do to get the job done against Northern Blues and, and get two in a row? Uh, I think we just need to um, yeah keep focusing on our pressure um, around the ball and um, you know trusting trusting blokes to sort of make the tackle, um, you know covering off correctly defensively and just um, yeah probably moving the ball taking. Taking a little bit to uh, steady ourselves and hit those targets rather than rushing a little bit, but um, yeah, I think I think the game on the weekend is very winnable, um, you know, and we're quietly confident going in there into this week's game. So, Josh, uh, all the best for the weekend against the Northern Blues, but uh, in the meantime, uh, enjoy your performance and um, the yeah soaking up the win from the SNM game. It was fantastic. Thanks, Mitchie. Cheers.